just keep moving. Mark, Miriam and baby Odelia Kay are getting ready for the journey of a lifetime. This is going to charity, I'm assuming. Please. I'd really like to keep. <laughs> In just under a week, they will emigrate to Israel, along with around 100 other British Jews, on a plane chartered to their spiritual homeland. For us, we're both uh, religious Jews, we're modern Orthodox Jews, we are Zionist Jews. Um, it was always something that was an aspiration for us that we wanted to go and find our place with the rest of the Jewish people in the Jewish homeland. For us, the idea of Jewishness means that we're going to have Hebrew as our first language rather than as a sort of a minority language that we occasionally use. Um, we're going to be celebrating Jewish festivals as national festivals rather than having, you know, the difficulty To take of, work off and yeah. leave early and, you know, we've had to leave school early every Friday for our whole lives and that was always... Um, Very difficult. Also, just the whole culture, um, Jewish life being much easier out there, living with a majority Jewish culture, um, kosher food um, available every street corner is just going to be an amazing novelty. Anti-Semitism has been unfortunately an ever-present um, constant in my life. And so whether it's been insults, abuse... Um, muggings. Muggings being pelted with eggs, um, having cans thrown at me, having people laugh, having people stare, point. You know, as British as I have always felt and as integrated as I've been here, there's just been this underlying notion that I'm not welcome here. Um, and that's been very hard. That has been very hard. Since 1948, 30,000 British individuals have resettled in Israel. Nefesh Benefesh is an agency which organises these moves. It's been operating in America for the last five years, but this is only the fifth flight it has organised from the UK. Nefesh Benefesh uh, was set up in the UK um, last year in 2006. Um, last year we successfully brought over 200 people and this year we're hoping to take over 300 people. I moved to Israel um, seven and a half months ago. Um, I moved because it was um, a seed in my mind for a long time um, and I just thought if I don't go now I'm never going to go and um, it's a young, it's a dynamic country and I feel that I can really make a difference there. Even though we thought we were prepared, you know, there was a heck of a lot to do but we made it and it was, uh, we're just so excited. It's actually amazing. <laughs> it is. I knew when I heard it was going to be traumatic. It was more, I don't want to leave you than I don't want to go. Um, they want me to go as well. Even my grandma, she's a Holocaust survivor and tried to go over to what was then Palestine in 1935 and it was a dream she never realised. I feel like I'm fulfilling part of the family dream. It really felt that, you know, sun was rising on our new life that was about to start and then suddenly you know, you see the coast and you're flying over a city and thinking... This is it. This, this is, is it. us coming home. I didn't, I didn't expect that. I, didn't, I knew that there was going to be something. And seeing, you know, all the soldiers uh, with the flags and just people coming up to us, giving us, you know, blessings and welcome and wishing us mazel tov, congratulations and... It was very special. Very special. It was really interesting just how how varied the people were. You know, there's a whole spectrum of ages. And in terms families. of religiousness as well. Yeah, yeah. Also was... seemed to be quite mixed. Mostly it's about kind of, we really believe in the idea of, a, you know, a, a free Jewish people in, in our homeland and we wanted to come here and be a part of that. You can't really explain it, like only, I think only other Israeli or other Jewish people know how you feel inside because you're a minority over there and you're just over here everyone is Jewish and you're just a majority of people. It's just uh, feeling like no other. It's the, uh, it's the homeland. We needed, uh, we thought that the, uh, the coming home was good and as a big family we decided to, uh, to do it all together. Yes. 
We made it. I was so excited when I woke up. I just thought, I cannot believe we're here. Because the whole of yesterday, it seemed like a dream. And I thought I was just going to wake up and we'd be in London. And we were here. We're in Jerusalem. It's something we've been building up towards practically for at least two years. Um, and to actually come through it physically and to arrive has, has a great emotional and spiritual impact on, on both of us. I think it's added greatly to our sense of happiness and gratitude even in the few hours that we've, that we've been here. I feel deeply saddened by the fact that once I come here and become an Israeli, not only you know, do I feel welcomed and settled as a Jewish person here, but I know that I will immediately be hated by some, um, some of our neighbours, and I, I find that very, very difficult. Um, but through my work, which is in interfaith relations, I do hope to um, engage in some projects personally and also professionally. So getting here is in a way our, our first stage, but our most important stage, because once we're here, we feel like now. Now it all, now now it all begins. begins. Now, now the challenges are upon us. <laughs> so we <we're>... can't <laughs> expect ourselves to make peace in the Middle East, but we will certainly do our little bit towards that. <laughs>